Hello everyone. I, Dr. Sonia Raut, lecturer in physics, Government Polytechnic, Nagpur. This video 4 is about environmental awareness on the topic of photovoltaic energy in the fulfillment of tasks held by, held by International FDP on Environment and Sustainability by D.Y. Patil, College of Engineering, Akurdi, Pune. In video 1, we focused on photovoltaic energy which is used for generation of electricity. The photovoltaic effect occurs in solar cells and these solar cells are composed of two different types of semiconductors, P-type and N-type. They are joined together to create a P-N junction as shown in figure. Light is composed of photons which are simply small bundle of electromagnetic radiation or energy. These photons can be absorbed by a photovoltaic cell and the type of cell that com uh, composes solar panels. When light of suitable wavelength is incident on these cells, energy from the photon is transferred to an atom of the semiconducting material in the p-n junction. Specifically, energy is transferred to the electrons in the material. This causes the electron to jump to a higher energy state known as the conduction band. This leaves behind a hole in the valence band and that the electron jumped up from uh, the, this movement of electron as the result of added energy creates two charge carriers and electron hole pair. When unexcited electrons hold the semiconducting material together by forming bonds with surrounding atoms and thus they cannot move, however in their excited state in the conduction band, these electrons are free to move through the material. Because of the electric field that exists as a result of p-n junction, electrons and holes moves in the opposite direction as expected as shown in figure. Instead of being attracted to the p-side, the freed electrons tends to move to the n-side and this motion of electron creates an uh, electric current in the cell. Once the electron moves, there is a hole that is left and this hole can also move but in the opposite direction to the p-side and it is this process which creates the current in the cell. In this way photovoltaic cell works as shown in figure. Now in our second video we have seen that sustainable energy world we can create by using ISO standards and renewable source of energy. Uh, the ISO certification 14001 allows us to take and to show the others our environmental commitment it requires that an organization considers all environmental issues relevant uh, to its uh, operations such as air pollution, water and sewage issues, waste management, soil contamination, climate change mitigation and adaptation and resource use and efficiency. Uh, now Indian renewable energy source. Renewable energy sources and technologies have potential to provide solutions to the long standing energy problems being faced by the developing countries. The renewable energy sources like wind energy, solar energy, geothermal energy, ocean energy, biomass energy and fuel cell technology can be used to overcome energy shortage in India. To meet the energy requirement for such a fast growing economy, India will require an assured supply of 3 to 4 times more energy than the total energy consumed today. In India, we are using different renewable energy sources, uh, having wind uh, 65%, biomass 11%, solar which is very important one 13% and hydropower 11%. India is increasingly adopting responsible renewable energy uh, techniques and uh, taking positive steps towards carbon emissions, cleaning the air and ensuring a more sustainable future. Now what does solar power mean? Solar to the energy from the sun converted to be used either for heating or for electricity by private households or even business. Solar power is generated by the surface that attracts the energy of the sun and a method of converting this energy into electricity or heat. This method can be either direct using direct type of solar panels for electricity or indirect using a solar thermal collector to generate heat. What are most interesting in this case is that solar power is green. Why so? Because it relies exclusively on 
the energy of the sun which is not only free and always available but also green whatever solar system we choose to install it will make no noise it just needs some roof space for the panels to attract enough sunlight so after watch uh, after learning um, or after watching this video students will be able to learn the present energy scenario and the need of renewable energy commit to proactive initiatives for the sustainable use of resources preserving the local biodiversity and ecosystems and taking measures to prevent pollution utilize renewable energy sources for both domestics and industrial application analyze the environmental aspects of renewable energy resources now iso 14001 focus their goals to ensure the reduction of environmental impacts that companies or organizations can generate the iso 14001 certification management system applied to the manufacture of photovoltaic modules demonstrates that embodies of uh, the company has all the requirements for establishing an environmental management system that allows uh, control of the impact of its activities products and services on the environment through the prevention reduction or elimination thereof quality management system that meets the goal of the iso 9001 2015 standard and an environment management system that meets the goals of iso 14001 2015 standard iso 50001 is data driven and focuses on energy performance improvement while iso 14001 provides a more qualitative look at all significant environmental impacts of an organization both standards can be implemented individually or they can be integrated with each other or with any other iso management system standards such as iso 9001 now different isos used for different parameters such as uh, iso 9553 1997 is used for solar energy methods of testing performed rubber seal and sealing compound uh, compounds uh, used in collectors uh, so these are different isos used for solar energy solar water heaters for different purposes for example dural uh, durability and performance method of assessment etc now um, these are international electrotechnical commission that is iec uh, these are uh, these are for uh, photovoltaic devices procedures for temperature and irradiance corrections of measured iv characteristics and uh, for example iec 609042 uh, which is for requirements of preference solar devices and in this uh, ieee 1562 is very important Uh, to in uh, which is held in 2007 is the only industry standard for sizing a photovoltaic array and batteries in a system where the solar array is the way uh, is the only charging source uh, these off grid solar system are considered uh, to have pv that is photovoltaic uh, cell as their only incoming power source while using the batteries to store the energy produced by the solar panel now next is the carbon emission a carbon footprint is defined as the total amount of greenhouse gases produced to directly or indirectly support human activities usually expressed in equivalent tons of carbon dioxide in other words when you drive a car the engine burns fuel uh, which creates a certain amount of co2 depending on its fuel consumption and the driving distance when the heat you are uh, when you heat your house with oil gas or coal then you also generate co2 even if you heat your house with electricity the generation of electrical power may also have uh, emitted a certain amount of co2 also when you buy food or goods uh, the production of food and goods also emitted some quantities of co2 so for that uh, first we calculate solar energy generation and uh, calculation of solar energy generation is done here taking one such a module having 72 cells uh, having size uh, 156 by 156 mm thickness 200 mm and having life span of 25 years with an average performance of 85% so uh, considering the area of module having 72 cells uh, which uh, for a 2 meter square area and efficiency of the cell is 13% 
and the average solar radiation uh, in nagpur we are considering in nagpur that is uh, 5.62 kilowatt hour uh, per meter square in a day so we have to calculate power with the help of uh, this formula efficiency into rate of solar intensity so efficiency is 0.13 and rate of solar intensity is uh, 5.62 and amount average amount of energy used per day is 2 kilowatt uh, hour per uh, day so uh, our answer is 1.462 kilowatt hour per day on considering the uh, 300 clear days in a year the power production would be 1.6412 into 300 uh, which is equals to 438.36 kilowatt hour per year uh, so uh, we now we calculate this for one year so for 25 years uh, the power output becomes 10.959 megawatt hour so uh, calculation of carbon credit uh, earned on considering the average value of 0.932 tons of co2 emission uh, reduction per megawatt hour of electricity approximately 40% of global co2 emission are emitted from electricity generation through the combustion of fossil fuels to generate heat needed to power steam turbines burning this uh, fuel uh, results in the production of carbon dioxide the primary heat trapping and greenhouse gas responsible for global warming so the power production is uh, 438.36 kilowatt hour per year so in this module co2 emission reduction per megawatt hour per year as per the calculation will be uh, uh, pro power production multiplied by uh, average value of tons of co2 emission so we get 0.40 tons as uh, pointed out earlier if the value is traded at the rate of usd we are just considering one example uh, rated at the rate of usd 35.5 per ton the total reduction will be 0.40 multiplied by 30.35.50 so usd is 14.2 and which is equals to 1069.26 because as one usd is uh, 75.30 Uh, rupees in uh, 2020 so carbon footprint is a very powerful tool to understand the impact of personal behavior on global warming and uh, most people are shocked when they see the amount of co2 their activities create and if you personally want to contribute to stop global warming we uh, the calculation and constant monitoring of uh, your personal carbon footprint is essential so everyone has to calculate own footprint so that uh, we can reduce pollution and can save our mother earth now sustainability computation photovoltaic pv module typically come with uh, 20 years warranties that guarantee uh, that the panel will uh, produce at least 80% of the rated power after 20 years of use uh, for mono crystalline silicon uh, the most commonly used panel for commercial and residential pv the degradation rate is less than 0.5% for the panels made before 2000 and less than 0.4% for panels made after 2000 uh, that means uh, that the panel manufactured today should produce 92% of its original power uh, after 20 years quite a bit higher than the 80% is, uh, estimated by the 1% rule a study by nrel shows that the majority of panels still produce energy after 25 years albeit uh, at slightly uh, reduced now this uh, graph shows energy per years with rooftop and large scale solar in uh, 2020 to 2021 we use uh, we can use 80 megawatt of energy and in 2120 to 100 megawatt of energy so the growth and development of solar rooftop pv as per the current status are of standard level despite the fact that the government of india has set a target of installing 40 gigawatt of decentralized solar rooftop pv up to 2022 uh, putting a benchmark by adopting simple habits in a day to day life for the combined benefits of energy to reduce the carbon emission with utilization of solar energy conservation systems uh, technologies such as photovoltaic devices so by using uh, with the help of photovoltaic cell we can reduce our carbon footprint which is uh, uh, more the uh, more uh, created by uh, electricity so we have to reduce that and we have to maintain uh, sustain environmental sustainability 
uh, to reduce the pollution so uh, i want to quote dr apj abdul kalam that uh, by the year 2030 india should achieve energy independence through solar power and other forms of renewable energy thank you